Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for joining us today for our webinar on real-time load tracking and capacity optimization. My name is Brad Zaitsoff, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Tailwind, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. Now, as this is an online meeting of sorts, and, when, and many of us working remotely these days, I wanted to take a quick poll of our audience to find out what kind of online meeting person are you? Get that. There we go. So are you the type of person that you know walks around the house during your meetings? Uh, do you come to the meeting groggy-eyed like you just woke up? Uh, do you stay hidden with your camera off? Are you the one person that interrupts, interrupts, interrupts? Um, but, but you know, obviously apologizes at the end of that. Or do you just kind of sit back and uh, make funny faces at everybody? All right, let's uh, give people a couple more seconds to vote here. Oh, uh, looks like there's quite a few people who just, uh, you know, <laughs> like to hide. Interesting. Got to make sense given, given this webinar, most people have their cameras off anyway, so there. That makes sense. All right. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll close the poll, share the results with people. Looks like the vast majority of you that are a little shy, don't want to necessarily put the cameras on, and but you know, you got a few of you that are also just walking around the house doing what you need to do. So good to know. Good to know. Thank you, everyone. All right. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping with the presentation here. The webinar is being recorded and will be sent out to all the registrants in the next day or so. Uh, for the duration of the webinar, all attendees will be muted. But you, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send a message in the question box, and we will review them in the Q&A portion at the end of the webinar. Today's webinar will be led by Tailwind's Director of Product Design and Delivery, Kyle Shaw, and Trucker Tools VP of Partnerships, Matt Silver. Kyle has been in the transportation industry for over 12 years, and I would hazard to say most of that time with Tailwind. Here he works very closely with our customers and our dev team to deliver solutions that really match the requirements of today's freight businesses. For those new to Tailwind, we're a transportation software company focused on helping small to mid-sized trucking companies, freight brokerages, and those businesses that do both. Since launching our true web-based TMS offering in late 2016, we've made over 300 enhancements uh, and updates to it, making it stronger to help folks like all of you be more effective and nimble to make good decisions quickly, supported by data that's made available at your fingertips. And from Trucker Tools, we have Matt Silver. And apart from his great beard and cool name, Matt leads strategic partnerships with Trucker Tools and brings eight years of experience in transportation with him. Well, Trucker Tools provides load visibility, predictive freight matching, and trip planning solutions for the transportation industry. Trucker Tools platform gives brokers accurate real-time data optimally matching freight with trucks and allowing them to track loads from the beginning to the trip end. Their popular driver app has been downloaded over a million times by different drivers, uh, provided and it provides automated real-time shipment tracking to eliminate check calls. Now that we've provided you a little background on us, we're gonna do another quick poll to learn a bit more about you. So what is driving you to learn more about real-time load tracking and capacity optimization? Do you have customers that are looking for visibility into their freight? Uh, are you looking to improve business efficiency with new planning tools? Are you looking to ensure that you're running at maximum capacity? Or are you here more for an intro to find out more if uh, Tailwind and Trucker Tools can help you? All right, we got a little bit more variety on this one, so that, that's good to see. Right. It looks like just over half have voted. Oh, now the more votes are coming in. All right, looks like the voting is coming down. So five, four, three, two, and one. We'll close the poll, share the results with people here just so we know where everyone's at. So we have people that are looking for, or more customers at least looking for visibility. Business efficiency is important, and then quite a few people just looking to figure out what, what this can do and how it can help them. So we'll aim to cover all those pieces there today. All right, so oh, 
All right, thanks for giving us a little insight into what you're looking for. And with that, I'll be quiet for a little bit and turn things over to Matt to provide more information on how the Trucker Tools smart capacity and load tracking solutions can help you. And there's Matt, good. There I am. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate the introduction there and the, the comments on the beard. It's been a, a very valiant effort for the last couple of years here. Um, we're gonna talk about a handful of things today. You'll see in this slide right here, Milton's having a rough day. Um, if this is how you're feeling during peak season, you're likely not alone. Um, I myself spent a lot of time on the broker side of this industry. So that very much sums up what my desk looked like. Uh, bonus points if you know what movie this character is from, and you can go ahead and post your answers in the questions or chat box to the side here. We'll kind of take a, a look at a few of those. Give everyone just a second here. So we'll dive into to what Trucker Tools is. We're a software platform for the transportation industry that connects brokers and carriers. We're primarily focused on real-time visibility and digital freight matching. Our visibility and freight matching platform connect the Trucker Tools app to provide you with real-time freight location updates and helps to help, excuse me, helps you make better business decisions. Our platform centered around the Trucker Tools app, which is the most downloaded app in the industry. It's also among the least deleted. Today, we have over 140,000 unique carrier MCs with over a million app downloads in the hands of drivers today. The app is built as a lifestyle app for drivers with over 17 features to use on the road. Because of the variety of features, excuse me, that we offer, drivers love our app. and We're able to provide real-time visibility and digital freight matching with this app. We provide an end-to-end -end solution where you can cover a load, track the load, and book reloads in a seamless transaction between you and your carriers. It's gonna help you stay engaged with your drivers. So let's get started on the real-time visibility of our platform. Trucker Tools customers see an average tracking compliance of 72% start to finish of each of their tracks. Customers that follow our best practices are seeing over 90% tracking compliance on average. We provide you with real-time tracking updates every five minutes so you know exactly where your freight is at all times, and you can satisfy the shipper requirements that are pushed down to you. Trucker Tools also provides hands-on support for your team and your drivers to ensure that your compliance requirements are met. We have a cool case study here. Recent case study we conducted with one of our customers, LTI Delivers, shows the results that brokers and 3PLs of different sizes could experience using our platform. After Trucker Tools implementation last year, LTI Delivers saw a decrease in check calls by 40% and received an average tracking compliance of 86% without having to make check calls. Imagine the labor savings they saw being able to allocate the time savings back into relationship building with drivers and revenue generating activities from those same staff members. We offer in-app document scanning so drivers can upload their documents, such as proof of delivery, directly into the app as soon as the load is delivered. The document is sent directly to you on the Trucker Tools platform, eliminating delays and receiving the documents that you need. This is gonna allow you to go ahead and get the invoice out to your customer faster. Now we'll go into our digital freight matching platform. The goal of our digital plate, excuse me, digital freight matching platform is to reduce or eliminate overhead costs of covering a load. Drivers are able to search for your loads and send a quote for the load directly in the app. Using market intelligence, you'll be able to find truck capacity days in advance, eliminating some of the last minute scramble, filling the trucks in your network sooner rather than later. Trucker Tools digital freight matching helps you lessen the number of phone calls and carrier interactions on booking a load, freeing up your staff to find more freight, new carriers, or other revenue generating activities. We help you <clears throat> excuse me, to find other carriers, not just as a broad call list, but rather based on the lane density. So carriers shown are relevant to the lanes and routes they frequent. Knowing that not one size fits all, we have four approaches to our digital freight matching. Drivers can book loads and negotiate, excuse me, negotiate the rates directly in the app, keeping everything in one centralized location. 
In our system, 90% of all matches are initiated by our carriers. This is because they're already active in our system using the tools provided for the drivers. We have Book It Now, where your variable cost on loads booked through this method is reduced significantly. You get to choose which of your most reliable carriers get to see the loads, and they can book those loads directly in the app. With digital freight matching, carriers initiate a discussion of rate or terms through the app or portal, and this will all flow into your Tailwind TMS. Carriers can also call you to discuss the load through the app or portal. Finally, you can also call through a list of vetted and available carriers to find the best match quickly. We're going to turn things back over to Brad. All right, thank you, Matt. That's, a, that's very useful information. Now, would you be able to talk a little bit about how a Tailwind user can get started on the Trucker Tools platform? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because of how the Tailwind team integrated our platform and really appreciate the good work you guys did there, getting started is super easy. We can provide a one-on-one -on -one demo, answer any questions about our visibility or capacity tools. Uh, once somebody is ready to begin, we create the account with Tailwind and we provide ongoing free training to their team. All you need to do is contact us. Easiest way to get in touch with us, just sales at truckertools.com. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, time for another quick poll question. Want to be finding out what tools you're currently using for managing and optimizing uh, your freight. Um, are you using a TMS like Tailwind? Maybe different apps such as Trucker Tools or Easy Check-In? Uh, maybe an ELD or an onboard device like Samsara or Keep Trucking? Or is it a combination of the above? All right. Got a bit of variety here as well, so that's good. Right, give people a few more seconds to vote here. All right. Oh, a few last minute, folks. All right. Yeah, good, good, good. Keep them coming. <laughs> All right. I'll share the results there. So, yeah, it looks like most are using a combination of, uh, you know, the TMS apps, PLDs. Um, with quite a few using uh, ELD, so that's good to see as well. All right, so I'll hide those results and I'll turn things over to Kyle. Perfect. Thanks, Brad, and thanks everyone for joining us again today. Uh, I'm going to be keeping my contribution fairly short uh, as much of the workflow is being done from within the Trucker Tools ecosystem. Um, but from the Tailwind perspective, uh, adding the care or adding the Trucker Tools smart capacity and or load track integration will not change much to your normal workflow as, like I said, most of the heavy lifting is done behind the scenes. Um, the first step that will need to be done uh, is that you'll need to create an API token. Um, and you'll provide this to Trucker Tools. Um, and then Trucker Tools will also provide you uh, with an account ID, an integration ID, and a shared secret that will need to be put into the system. Um, what this does is this allows uh, Trucker Tools to connect to the Tailwind platform, um, to, and then same thing on the other side, for us to talk to them to perform the necessary push and pull of data between the two. Uh, we implemented uh, the integration in a way that changes very little, if anything, to the normal workflow. Uh, orders are still created the same way, and so if an order is sitting, waiting in an unassigned state, Trucker Tools will pull it and post it to the Smart Capacity Board. Once it's been made available on that board, uh, you'll notice that under the More option within the order that you'll be able to click on Smart Capacity. Uh, what this does is this will open your load in the Smart Capacity application for you to see what carriers are available. Once you've determined the carrier that you're going to be using, these are either through the smart capacity uh, platform or through your own carrier contacts, uh, you'll want to create the dispatch. Um, if you're wanting to go through the load track application, uh, you'll simply need to ensure that you've filled in uh, the driver's cell number, the carrier's tractor, and trailer numbers. Um, this will trigger the trip then to be sent over to the Trucker Tools app, which is installed on the driver's phone. Uh, as the driver updates his arrival and departure at the stops on the trip, this information will automatically flow back into the corresponding uh, dispatch inside of the Tailwind TMS. Uh, so again, no more check calls to find out whether or not the load has been picked up or delivered. This will free up uh, your dispatcher's time to work on the more important thing of growing your business. And with that, that's pretty much it from our side of things. Uh, Brad, turn it back over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Kyle. 
So we covered a fair amount of information there uh, in a short time frame. Um, so to recap some of the most important takeaways, Tailwind's integration with Trucker Tools will save you time as you won't have to make so many check calls. Speed up how quickly you can find carriers for the loads you need to move, as well as get more accurate arrive and departure uh, information flowing directly into your TMS. Now, just before we get into your questions, I have one last poll question. Uh, for folks looking to take advantage of, or at least learn more about how these benefits can be applied to their specific business. So what would you like to do is, or take as your next steps? Would you like to set up a free trial of Tailwind? Um, or maybe get a tour of the TMS? Uh, would you like to see a Trucker Tools uh, demo in action? Or maybe discuss um, how using truck, Tailwind and Trucker Tools can help in your business? We'll give people a few more seconds to vote here. I won't necessarily need to share these <laughs> information with everyone here, but just this way it helps us to, to know, you know what you're actually looking for and we'll be following up shortly after the, the webinar. All right, give people a few more seconds. Looks like a, a few people are, are still deciding what they wanna be doing. Awesome. All right, I'll close that poll and we'll get into some of the questions that have been coming in. Thank you very much and, and please feel free to keep on sending them through. Um, so first question, um, this looks like it's gonna be a question actually for, for both of our, our presenters here. How much does Tailwind cost and how much does Trucker Tools cost? Um, Kyle, you wanna take that one first and then uh, <laughs> give it over to that. Yeah, I, I definitely can start with that. So from the Tailwind uh, side of things, um, for those unfamiliar with our pricing, it's built into a um, different product tiers. Uh, so we have three different product tiers that we offer, uh, Pro, Enterprise, and Unlimited. Um, the pricing for each of those is uh, on a per user per month basis. Um, so the Pro is 99, uh, the Enterprise is 149, and the Unlimited is 199. Um, that would be on an annual contract. Um, and if you are um, going to be doing it on a month to month, uh, the pricing is uh, corresponding Pro 117, Enterprise 176, and then uh, Unlimited is uh, 235. And Matt? Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, our pricing model, it, it's a little bit different. It's flexible enough to make all of our features available for any size brokerage. So we've got clients doing a couple hundred loads. Uh, in a month, we have other clients who are doing thousands in a single day. Um, we price it out flat rate uh, for your business, and it's based on your total business side. So total number of loads you're going to see in a monthly basis. We do not charge per seat. There's no hidden fees, and we never charge for training or support. So we'll always be here. Um, again, the easiest way to get an exact quote on the pricing, just reach out to our sales team. Again, actually just below on the screen here, sales at truckertools.com. Um question regarding trucker tools how can trucker tools help with my business strategy and help me scale my business really good question um, trucker tools you know we, we help you provide real-time visibility and meet the requirements of your shippers our team will work with you regularly on tracking compliance and help you work towards improving your driver adoption to meet the shipper requirements depending on what your business strategy is We'll work with you to come up with best practices on how to meet those goals, hopefully exceed those goals, end up keeping your customers happy. Uh, we're always looking at how we can innovate. So if there's anything that we're not currently doing that you'd like us to implement to match your strategy, we'll come up with a plan to make that happen. Uh, we're always willing to create a product that's right for you rather than asking you to fit your business into an off the shelf product. Uh, and a, a question for, for you, Kyle. Um, yep. Looking at, <clears throat> so, so my team is working remotely right now, just Tailwind support remote work. Yep, it definitely does. So our, our application is a fully web-based app uh, hosted on the Microsoft Azure platform. Um, so basically you can access it from any device that has access to a web browser. And a handy for, uh, for times like base. Most definitely is when all of us here are working from home. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, looks like a question for you, Matt. What's the biggest differentiator of Trucker Tools uh, versus other tra tracking apps, and how will my carriers benefit from the app? 
Yeah. Biggest difference for, you know, what separates us from all the other apps that exist either for tracking or just drivers in general is the way our app is built. We build everything for the driver, mainly the small carrier and owner operators in the industry. And I think a, a lot of people on this call probably know that, you know, 80% of the, the loads out there are going to be hauled by that carrier group. So we provide those drivers with ways to find parking, find the cheapest fuel, uh, route to their next load, find rest areas in Walmarts. There's over 17 features in the app to make the driver's life a little bit easier and more efficient. And again, all these things kind of lead into why we have the most downloaded app in the industry with over a million downloads today. Um, since our app has more lifestyle features that benefit the drivers, they're more willing to adopt the app when the broker requests that that be how they're going to be tracked. Um, and kind of a, a fun little addition to it, if you do have those drivers that prefer to be tracked via their ELD, but you still want to utilize our app um, and our connection with a company like Tailwind to receive documents, we do integrate with a number of ELD providers as well. So we can kind of hybrid the two. We can track them on the ELD and then use the tool to match them to loads as well as upload those documents. Oh, you must have seen the next question there. It says, are you able to track through ELD with Tracker tools? So, uh, my job is almost superfluous here. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, it looks like we do have another uh, question here. How the accuracy and frequency of the updates um, I'm thinking that that's probably the app for you as well there, Matt. Can speak to the Yeah, so, you know, without getting too deep into the, the secret sauce of how we track so accurately, um, in comparison to a number of the other products, um, you know, most everybody in this room probably understands that the very kind of primitive version of cell phone triangulation via text message to track a driver died years ago. Um, so we are using true GPS. Again, we can do it directly through the app. So we're using the GPS coming right off the driver's cell phone. Uh, if they prefer to do it on a tablet, we can do that as well. Um, and then if they prefer to use the ELD device, we're pulling the tracking from there. Our baseline measurement is every five minutes we are pinging the device for location. There is no additional fees to customers if they want it that frequently. Um, there's usually also settings where they can toggle it down um, if that tracking update were to somehow in, in certain TMSs cause an alert to go out to the customer um, for a tracking update, um, those can be delayed. We have some clients who only receive them every four or eight hours, um, but primarily we do it every five minutes. Um, for how much data is used? Question from Tony. Thank you for that, Tony. That's a really, really good question. Um, so the, the feedback we get in. Um, if you've ever been involved in building an app, and I, I know it's a little obscure, but some people have, um, it's things that the app stores, whether it's iOS or the Google Play Store, do take very seriously in regards to, are we just defeating the user's device? Absolutely not. Um, most of our drivers are, are letting us know that if they're running it in the background, um, it's got very low battery draw as well as very low data consumption if they are on uh, a limited plan of some sort um, you know again we make all of our decisions based on feedback from drivers so we are hearing frequently that they've got you know plenty of data left over in their day but in the occurrence that they do want to minimize the amount of data coming from their device we'll just ask them to connect with the ELD and that'll take the load completely off of their handset uh, looks like we got a question regarding the battery uh, elements that you just mentioned there too, but mobile battery would dry soon if you have every five or pinging every five minutes. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, and you know, we, we do, um, as an app producer, we see all the various different devices that our users are using within the network. Older devices, um, you know, anything that I kind of had this degraded battery life to begin with. Um, certainly that's going to be a function of it, but newer devices, you know, the, the, the software is super efficient. I personally keep it on my phone all day, um, you know, just kind of by nature of where I work. And it, it's very low draw, a couple percent a day, or I should say a few percent a day. Just don't hold me to the, the, the two percent. <laughs> but, um, you know, the feedback I've heard in being on various podcasts and talking to, to drivers myself, um, usually it's like a three to five percent draw unless they're going into the app and they're searching more frequently for fuel stops, 
um, or they're looking for that next available load where they're engaging in multiple searches on the app. I'm imagining if the, if the screen is on, then you're going to see a greater uh, greater draw, and then it's just painting, yeah. and it should be pretty light. Yeah, GPS don't don't take too too much battery draw. That's for sure. Um, oh, if a driver kept the mobile off, how can we get a ping track? Lots of good questions from our pool here. Yeah, no, it, yeah. It, these are real life scenarios that happen. So if the driver does not start the track or if the driver turns the track off and they pause it mid-transit, we're going to alert uh, via the TMS, the broker involved in the transaction. So you're, you're not going to find out later that this has happened. You're going to find out immediately. Um, question from Tony again here. Will there be a map view or a location by text? Um, so is that a, I'm not too sure exactly there, Tony, but as there, you speak to like what what somebody kind of would be interacting with and seeing both Al and, and Matt. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry. I was going to say, are we waiting for a follow up to see whether Tony um, responds to that? Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, looks like he does. Thank you. Can we see a truck on a map? Ah, thank you, Tony. That's what I thought we were waiting for there. Um, so on the tailwind side of things for us right now, we would just, we don't have a map itself, but we do have our equipment status area, um, which would show what the last location would have been that would have been returned um, from, from GPS information. Um, and Matt, I can't recall on your guys' end of things. Do you guys have the, the trucks on, on map there? Yeah, so, uh, and I don't intend to put you on the spot with this one, so I apologize for my answer in advance. No. Um, so a, a web hook is uh, returned through the API. Um, so if that link is inserted into the TMS, it would just launch a browser window and it'll show all of the pings in that breadcrumb fashion across a, cool. a US map overlay. Gotcha. And right now we, yeah, we're not hitting that web hook on our side of things. It's something that we could definitely expand upon, uh, Tony, if that's something that you're, you're looking for. And we could spec that out and see what it would take for us to implement. If it's a simple web hook, it'd be probably pretty easy for us to, to implement that. Antonio, you're asking if it uh, would work on the desktop version of, uh, of Tailwind. Uh, as it's right now, no, it is only in the, uh, the web-based version. With with no plans on developing it in the desktop at this point. All right, looks like that's looks like that's all the questions we have today. So I'm going to start wrapping things up. Um, but should you have any additional questions, you can always reach us at the email addresses that are on the slide that's in front of you. So there's info at tailwindtms.com and sales at truckertools.com. And with that. Kyle, Matt, and I would like to thank you once again for joining us, and we wish you a great rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, guys.